I'll get back up there and disconnect this now. And have I have I removed any or installed any in this house before? No, I haven't. This is the first one. I want you to see what I see. And on this particular one, uh, this little connector piece, it has a black wire, a white wire, and a yellow wire. On the new one, I got black, white, and red. So obviously, the red wire is going to connect to the red wires. Okay, I don't, I don't have a yellow. And I've got, I've got two um, solid red wires together, connected together. They've twisted those. The electrician did me a favor. And then there's two black wires that are hard, hard wired, and they're twisted together, two white wires. Now sometimes, and so I know no matter which wire nut I take off, I can interchange the wire nuts however. But sometimes you might, you might only have, you might have two wires on one color and a, and a single wire on something else. And then I like to to do the wire nuts accordingly because maybe a wire nut that had three wires connected to it is not going to fit very well with a uh, connection with just two wires connected to it, you know what I mean? Because it might be too big in there and you twist and twist and twist on there and it doesn't seem to want to tighten up. Or you think it's tight and you put it together and it's loose. Okay. But we don't want that, do we? Okay, so that's all. That's all I have to do, right there, just like that. I don't have to do anything more to that. And I'll get back up there with my other. And I'm going to take the. See, I'm going to I'm going to put that cover on there last the mounting plate. That way I can shove everything up in there. If you put the mounting plate up in there now, you can't get all your wire nuts in there. Okay? So, very simple. Red to red, black to black, and white to white. And see, if I were doing this hot, which I would never recommend, Let's say you can't, let's say you're in an apartment complex, you have no idea, you can't find, you can't find uh, your um, sub-panel, you don't know where it is, it's somewhere else, you have to get a hold of somebody. You could do it, but then I would suggest doing it one wire at a time. Take the, leave the wire nut, leave the black and white wire nut on first, just do the red first, or do the white first and one at a time so you don't have three wires sticking in your face and I'll, I'll kind of pull on it a little bit and see if it's tight okay look on there hold it together Get it on there and pull on it a little bit. Make sure they're snug. Okay, that all looks good. Now, now I've got to push all those wires back up in there. Kind of like how they were before with this kind of facing down. So you're going to have to kind of just fold everything back up in there, kind of how you had it, how you saw it before. Okay. And this junction box isn't very deep either. Oh, I've got to be kind of mindful of that. Get everything pushed back in there. Try to keep your grubby hands off your walls, off your ceiling as best you can. Okay. back in there. Just kind of take your time with it and try to finagle those wires in there, the wire nuts. That, okay? This thing needs to be stuck down like that. 
Okay, and I've got my, I've got my, uh, <laughs> my little safety glasses on, and I should have done that to the beginning because once you start pulling things out you'd be surprised at the different things that fall out I already I already have you know little bits of sheetrock down here on the ground see that kind of fell out and there's some other droppings over here and and over in there just keep your eyes protected if you can okay so that's what we got so far that didn't take very long, did it? Okay, now we're ready to put the backing plate up there. Okay, we've got the backing plate. And let's see what we can do with that. Just put it right through the hole there. And I don't know which, 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 uh, uh, size of the backing plate to do until I just hold it up there. Just kind of hold it up there and get that figured out. If you need to, if those screws aren't down all the way, you can unscrew them a little bit. Now whoever did this, they used sheetrock screws up here because the backing screws that came with it, maybe they were too short or something. They decided, ah, oh, just use sheetrock screws. Well, that's fine. It's on this on this plate. Oh, come on, where is it? Oh, here we go. Okay. Now on the plate, it has. You can slide it to where it's. You know where you need it. Okay. I've got it up there, and I'm just gonna tighten this up. See, so far I've only used a Phillips screwdriver, right? Right. That's all I've used. So don't put your don't put your backing plate up there until you get your wires all shoved up there. Okay. So this is this is all I want pushed down through there. And then once I get it plugged in, this is flexible enough to kind of push in there. See. And it and it should fit. It should fit. Just kind of have an idea of how how that's going to kind of go up there to the back and that okay. might want to get this just a hair tighter this the inside of this kind of flexes and you get it too much and it might give you a problem screwing this the the whole alarm on there now on the alarm there's just there's just three little places here see one there one there one down there you can't this particular one you can't really go wrong putting it on because it only goes on one way to that and even even if you think your old let's say you think your old uh, let's back you off a little bit your old pigtail on your old smoke alarm is the same layout as this one. Go ahead and replace it anyway. You don't want, you don't want to have your old one up here. Get your new one and chances are the old one may not line up properly anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at that and make sure it, make sure it, it fits in there. Okay, come on. Okay, there we go. Like that. Okay. It definitely will clip on there so you know it's on. Okay. Now I'm going to. I wrote all this stuff on the date of the install and stuff. I probably want that facing the wall over there if I can. You know? We'll see how this fits on there. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it up and it should it should fit in the notches. There's grooves in there and it's gotta it's gotta fit all the way up in there. So I haven't done this one for a while. Oh there it goes. Okay. And I've got it attached on there all the way. You want to make sure it gets up there nice because you might think, oh, I've got it and, and you've only got it hooked on one side and not the other. And then after a while, the whole thing wants to come down off of there. Okay, now that was the lithium battery. When I did that, that was a lithium battery that is now started. I don't want to do anything with the rest of this yet. There's a certain uh, sequence. I'm going to have to push the button here, but I can't do that and get this set yet because remember the power is off at the breaker. So if I wanted, if I wanted to turn that on right this minute, I would have to turn the breaker off and um, or turn the breaker back on at this point and then press the button. I guess we can do that uh, just to show you in case you don't want to see me install any more of these smoke alarms. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do that right now and then when I get ready to install the rest of these smoke alarms down here I'll turn the breaker back off. Okay. So here, if you're just doing one, the next step is right now we're going to turn the breaker back on. Okay, I got the power back on and you should have a green light somewhere. And see, right there, there's the green light and it's on. And look at your directions and read them to see how you can, how you're going to test it. Not all smoke alarms are exactly the same. This one says to push the button one time and then as I push the button one time it should beep. And then it should beep three, three uh, short consecutive beeps. And I think that it does it that once or twice, and then one beep at the very end. Let's, let's see if I can uh, find that again on this particular one. Okay, it says test the unit's electronics by pressing and releasing the test reset button. You will hear one beep on the button push and we'll then hear the following sequence of beeps. Three long beeps, pause, three long beeps, pause, single beep to reset. So let's see, let's see if that's going to happen that way. Because you can't just turn the power back on and call it good and say okay everything's done. You've got to it, it, it's it's like you got to reset it now. So here we go. Let go of it. There's three. There's three. Beep. Hey, okay. one short beep. Now we know it's set. And the other smoke alarms went off too. I heard them down the down the hallway. Did you hear him? I heard him. So the whole system is reset. That's all there is to it. Now you know. And you know what? You can do it. I know you can. Now you know how to install a smoke alarm that's hooked up internally to your house. Well that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And what am I going to show next time? Well, I installed one smoke alarm. Now I've got three more to do. So if you want to watch that, stick around because that will be on a separate video. And you might learn something on those two or hey, repetition, repetition. You see something more than once you learn a little bit more every time you see it. Then it's about going out and doing it on your own. So thanks for sticking around. Hope to see you again.